Hi. I'm here today because I'm a traveller and I'm an activist and I'm here because I've had enough. I'm, yeah. I'm fed up of all the lies and the exaggerations and the blatant propaganda that the government and the media persistently peddle about travellers and activists. Yeah. Whilst this new piece of legislation, the Police Crime Courts and Sentencing Bill, which is currently in the House of Lords, really takes a biscuit. Part four of this bill intends to criminalise trespass. They are hoping to put a, a, the final nail in the coffin for travellers all over England and Wales. Travellers, young and old, from all ethnicities and cultures, recognise that this is another particularly vicious attack on the nomadic way of life where not only do we risk huge fines and possible imprisonment for trespassing, but they are also threatening to take our homes from us, making us homeless, and then consequently taking our children as well. Why are they doing this? Simply because we have nowhere to park. We have to park somewhere and we have nowhere else to go. I really want to know what kind of monsters believe it is justifiable to make someone homeless when the system has failed to accommodate and include us. But if we continue to live as travellers have done for centuries, we will end up trespassing because we have no other choice. So why do we have no other choice? Well, I could talk about successive governments and councils neglecting their duty to honour the needs of travellers, failing to make adequate site provision and closing down existing sites after allowing them to fall into disrepair and disuse. But there are other issues at the root of this bill. In fact, yesterday I learnt my local district council are discussing measures they can take to prevent travellers from parking in my town. Apparently they plan to allocate £600,000 to ensure vehicles can no longer park on specific, specific roads. I mean, surely that money would be better off spent, better spent for riding a bit of land for travellers to be in that area. Yes, yes. This further highlights the attitude of those wielding the power, an attitude that is steeped in prejudice and discrimination, where it is okay to demonise travellers, to push us from pillar to post, squeezing us out of every place we have ever been, effectively just creating even more illegal encampments. For me, the issue here is land ownership and the monetarisation of land and homes. In the past, the land was everyone's. No one had a right over it. People grazed their cattle and foraged for their food. Gypsies and travellers camped where they needed to. They were welcomed, for they brought their skills and their wares with them, their entertainment and the news. They moved on as quickly as they arrived. They moved on to the next stopping place. When the land was stolen from all people and enclosed by fences, the itinerant nature of the traveller was no longer tolerated as they could not be controlled by the ruling classes, the landowners. Travellers could not be forced to work or pay taxes, they did not need to, for they were self-sufficient and they could support themselves. Gypsies, Roma and travellers continue to live this way and they are a constant reminder that another way is possible. Yes. That if you can endure the simple way of life without running water or plugged into the mains, then this system has no power over those who live this way because we do not need them. in history we see Mary Tudor passed a law that stated being a gypsy was punishable by death. Unless of course you gave up your Romany ways, sold your wagon, settled and moved into a house. Then it was okay to be a gypsy. We, then, we can then see that this bill is about control. This is about money and this is about forced assimilation. The GRT have been persecuted and scapegoated for over 500 years. They have been terrorised for the way they have been terrorised for the way that they live, and we still are. 
Just look at the Battle of the Beanfields and the, ex the eviction of Dale Farm to see how we have been treated. Over the last millennia, we have seen one land grab after another. Common land, wasteland, woodland, all suddenly becoming private property, whilst old droves and traditional parking places are made inaccessible. Houses, factories and car parks appear, appear where there was once traditional park-ups. These are now off limits for travellers, even when families have stopped there for centuries. So in fact, the original trespass is actually against us. It is us who is constantly being prevented from accessing the land that once belonged to the people. The Lord's Prayer says, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Throughout this time, trespass has been a civil matter. Now, though, they want to punish and criminalise us for, for trespass. For centuries, we have been forgiving their trespass against us. However, we have not forgotten it. And so I want to know, when are the real criminals going to be made accountable for their trespass, for their land theft? Yeah. Nazis! This bill only protects the criminals who have been oppressing the people. It protects the government, the corporations, the police, the bailiffs and the courts. And I'm here to let you know that despite your plans to criminalise me, I will continue to travel on this land and live where I need to. And I will continue to protest where I see corporate con corruption and the environmental havoc that ecocidal policies produce. You, you will not steal my home and you will not silence my voice. Yeah. Yeah. Travellers are uniting. Everyone is united against this bill. This is, we can see this is just an unfair, unjust attack on our freedoms. Yeah. So if you want to help fight the if you want to help in the fight against this bill, contact drivetosurvive.org.uk and www.nfats.info. For we need your support because if this bill goes through, travellers will be fighting this legislation every single day of our lives. Yeah. 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 Yeah.